Hey guys, it's Kez, and we just got the Prefecture Pass, so what we're gonna do is we're going to start making our way towards the prefect Prefecture, excuse me. We're gonna go inside. Hi. You let me in? Thank you. And is there gonna be any cutscene or anything? No? Okay, cool. Well, whatever. Okay, this is Jared's box, which we'll need a code for. Some marbles. Oh, okay, so I guess. Oh, oh, okay, I understand now. Uh, what we need to do is we need to get it set up so that these colored marbles match up like so. Which is going to be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> Because we've got the blue now. Uh, now we just need to make sure that they're lined up properly. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. The red's going to need to be five away from the blue. Which is easily done. Okay. And then the green just needs to be over one. There. And that's the kind of spacing we'll want here. Okay. Now we just need to get these other red ones in here. Okay, cause so that makes it so that blue is done? Did this thing get mixed up? Mm, I guess it might have. But if we went back, then this would be red and blue done. Okay, we just need to focus on green. Okay, uh, actually that's right. So we just need to get this over. Right? No, not quite. Because we need to get this over here. What am I trying to do here? Uh, dear. Um, why am I so bad at these like spatial thinking puzzles? So then, if I do this, I'm learning. Don't worry. Okay, so then if I wanted to move that over, then... Okay, let's just count. One, two. That's two. Now I just need to get this other red one over here. And then that's done. Alright, cool. I was on the right track. What's this? It's a lens. Anything else? Okay, not from that drawer. One, three. Okay, so I might need to find that other page. Hmm. Oh, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. This is what I'm to do. Okay, let's go into this room here. Jared. Well done, detective. I see you've brought back a sample of the beast's hair. Let us examine it and see if it matches the sample we found on the body outside of town. Okay. You can use our microscope here. To prove that the hair is different, you will need to find three differences between the samples. Okay. Makes sense to me. Okay, let's get a lens. Now I just need to place the samples. Okay. One. Two. Three. 
And there it is, clear as day. This proves that the circus wolf is not our killer. Madeline and the wolf can be crossed off our list as suspects. We should move on to my next suspect. There is a scientist by the name of Gustav. He has become a danger to the townsfolk because of his dangerous experiments. Ooh. Before this, he worked here in our laboratory for a while, but hasn't been seen in some time. Okay. The local tailor was a friend of his. He runs a small workshop not far from here within the city walls. Perhaps you should pay him a visit and inquire as to the whereabouts of Gustav. Runs a small workshop not far from here within the city walls. Okay. In recognition of your assistance to our city, I would like to offer you access to our equipment here during your investigation. But do be careful, detective. Some of the chemicals we keep here can be quite explosive. All right, that's good. I need that probably to dislodge that boulder, or I could use this spade. That could work too. Acid. I think this equipment is used to make an explosive compound. The ingredients are listed in the book on the table. H2O2, okay, that's peroxide. And H4OH, and red wine, H4OH. I don't remember what that is, but peroxide, hydrogen peroxide, red wine, and then that third thing. Hmm. I'll probably just look that up, but I, I don't have the first two anyway, so. Spider. Hi, spider. Okay, I've actually got a big orb weaver just chilling on uh, one of the window screens by my patio right now, so. I need to carefully cut this glass with this shovel. Okay, well. There's going to be a lot of back and forth, so let's see if we can use this... No. Man! Oh, right, I needed that map. Let's go back. Mmm... Doorknob. Aw, oh, okay. And let's see... It's 1-3. Can I maybe grab an empty bottle? I cannot. Hmm. Okay. One, three, seven, nine. Okay. What's this? I could make use of this glass cutter if I found its missing piece. What's missing from the glass cutter? Is it like a little razor or something? Is there absolutely anything else that I can click on besides these two spots? I guess not. Okay, well, whatever. We can at least finish this. 1379. There we go. Oh! Yay! And yeah, we'll take this map. Okay. There's the gate. This is where. The path goes left where that wolf went. And then we'll need a shovel. <sighs> okay, we'll just leave that there. Ooh. Okay. A gingerbread man. I don't think this is a gingerbread man. Um. Is there anything that I can open here? Okay. Oh, let's see. Two butterflies. There's one. That's a regular fly. Two butterflies. An iron rod. 
Okay, bracelet and scissors. Bracelet and scissors. Well, there's the scissors. Okay, a bottle, which is probably what I need out of here, actually. The one thing I'll need. No, it's more of a... Hmm. A bottle. Oh. Hi, frog. A loot. I'm just looking around for stuff. An onion and a moon. There's the moon. There's the bottle. Onion. I need an onion. Oh, there's the gingerbread man. A purse. A little coin purse here? No. Uh, this purse? No. Doesn't. I don't know what that is. A purse. Hmm. No. And a knife. There's a knife. And an axe for some reason. Oh, there's the purse. A bracelet. And now an onion. There it is. Okay, what'd I get? I got the iron rod. Okay, well, let's get out of here. I might be able to dislodge those rocks with this iron rod. Yay! Weety woof woof. Oh, another thing. Okay, binos. Those are glasses. There they are. Two clocks. One, two. A trowel. A magical trowel from Plantasia, mayhaps? <laughs> I wouldn't mind one of those. Do all my gardening for me while I'm at work. Uh, two keys and a bottle. There's one key. There's a bottle. Mm, there's another key. Some socks. Socks. You know what's fun? Making socks. Oh, that's creepy. The mannequin hand holding the violin. Okay, garlic and a ladle. Uh, there's the ladle. There's the garlic. There's the trowel. I need... Socks. Moon. This can become socks. Okay, socks, moon, horn, axe, and egg. There's the horn. Is that the egg? It is. Okay. There's the moon. Now I just need the socks and the axe. Now I just need the socks. Do any of you see the socks? There they are. Well done. We got an axe. Okay, cool. Now we just use this shovel. And we got a chest of monies. Hey, yo. Goodbye. Uh. Oh, hello. I'm sorry. I need to get him to move if I want to explore the cave further. It looks like I might have to scare him off with some bees. But I don't really have anything suitable for that. Covering up the whole wall. I'll need something weighty to break the rock to take a look. So maybe more like a hammer? I don't think a doorknob's gonna do it. Maybe I could place some kind of cage here to contain the wolf. Oh, poor guy's just scared. That owl's eyes were glowing. <laughs> well, anyways. Oh, actually, I can start heading towards the circus. And, um, yeah, I guess next time we can go talk to the circus lady and she might be able to help us out. Anyways, if you guys are enjoying this, and I certainly am, make sure you let me know by pushing the like button and tell me what you like and what you didn't like about this, uh, about this episode <laughs> Excuse me, in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Love you!